mean, even if it was something like wheat, and uh, you know, we all had to basically eat bread forever. You know, you would ba you would basically have to do the Jesus diet if it was wheat. You would have to do bread, and then you would have to eat for meat fish because the only things on on Earth that could well, I mean, I guess we could eat beef, but uh, yeah, it would. It would utterly fuck up everything, environmentally. It would utterly fuck it all up. Last mistake. That's what I'm... That's what I think is the... The worst possible scenario for... For the, uh... End of the world. And the most likely. There once upon a time... Yeah, yeah, I know. You could make granola and all that other kinds of shit, but... Once upon a time, there was a website, and it's probably still out there. Let's see if I can find it. It was a... It, I mean, this is like early internet shit. Like proto-internet shit. Oh, yeah, it's still here. It's not only still here, but it's still here... Oh, no, it's got, like, dead links and shit. I think there was a mirror. Oh, no, that's just the shitty front front of it. Here, I'll post it in chat. This this link, Exit Mundi, which is, you know, Latin for end of the world, um, has a collection of end of the world scenarios, including things... One, one of my favorite is uh, the Grey Goo uh, ending, Dang which it. is something I like... You we'll make a nanobot that takes apart shit and makes more nanobots. And we don't get a hold of it fast enough. This is all you, dickin'. Fuck, I don't do shit for damage against these idiots. Exit Mundi. End of the collection of end of the world scenarios. I wish you guys would fuck right off so that I could talk to Deacon. Whatever, I fucking clonked you and I heard it. I heard it. I heard you got clonked. Well, that's nice. Hey, Deacon. Deacon. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Hey, you bastard. I gotta wait for your dumb ass to walk all the way over here. I have not played Please Don't Touch Anything. That sounds interesting, though. Really? What the fuck are you doing there, Deacon? Here, I'll fucking make the... Yeah, fuck your family. The VR version of Don't Please Don't Touch Anything? Sounds interesting, man. What up, Jabbitifer? Yeah, we might end up using the jetpack since the reactive plates don't do a whole lot of damage. And the train also doesn't do a ton of damage either. I love the deacon is just chasing these deer. 
As a bedtime story, please explain your plan for surviving an apocalypse, whatever version you prefer. Um, okay. So, the, the only plan that I have ever had that was serious was a, a zombie apocalypse type, type survival thing. And, okay, so the plan was to follow non-road paths to, um, to East Bay in Provo and then hole up in Sportsman's Warehouse. So, you know, you what you would do is, in, in Provo, there's, first of all, there's a river that runs from, like, the north east to the southwest like diagonally through the whole city and it goes all the way out to Utah Lake and um, so you would you would either follow that river to get to the middle of the city or the the railroad and um, I-15 go the like other direction they go from like the northwest to the southeast so either way, you could take, like, a straight shot back road area and avoid all of the traffic and all of the people who are now roving the streets by just going along, essentially, the river bed or the biking trail. And, uh, you know, once, once we get into Sportsman's Warehouse, there's um, the only problem after we get in there, because they have, like, the sliding doors... That allow you to lock down. See you at Lexington. Deacon, we're at Lexington. Oh, somebody needs to kick your eggy fucking head in. Hey. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. What do you want from me? Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. We're in fucking Lexington, you douche. Hey Got a few things to take care of. Oh my god. See you at Lexington. Yeah, that would be a that would be a fun time. We all go to Burning Man and you know you take fucking everything, including the kitchen Got sink. A few to take care of. We'll see you at Lexington. We're at Lexington, Deacon, you douchebag. It's fine, we don't need to fucking hang out with you. I could go to Parsons. Or to the USS Constitution. Or to... The Boston Public Library. Excuse me. Got a few things to take care of. Alright, we're not gonna hang See out you with you Lexington. anymore. I hope you get fucking cancer. I hope you get brain cancer. I hope the cancer in your brain starts in your optic nerve and you slowly forget what all your loved ones look like. You fucking batshit asshole. It's bad enough that Deacon is Deacon, but for him to be a glitched mission, even for like a temporary amount of time, is enough to make me want to fucking crack his head open with a ball peen hammer and boil his fucking brain like eggs. Yeah, no, zo zombie apocalypse is a very unlikely scenario. Let's turn off all this shit. Let's just do public knowledge for right now. And then we can return the hallucinogen gas grenade. I mean, it would be interesting to come back from Burning Man and find out that the world was destroyed for whatever reason. Deacon's pretty special to me, yeah. He's... He's the absolute fuck you of this game. That's a long way to go, though. Ishisama, you should never travel more than five miles to get to where you're gonna hole up. You know what I mean? It's, that's... That's one of the things. I, I mean, I, you know, here's here's how people think when they think it's a zombie apocalypse, right? The real dumbasses 
I mean, I don't know if I should refer to them as the real dumbasses, but the real dumbasses will go to either the mall or to their to their church. Von Newton donated 250. I'll meet you at Lexington. Asshole. Have you been following me since, like, the beginning of the game? What is it with this fucking rad scorpion? Ouch. I think this has to be the same rad scorpion that's been targeting me forever and ever. Yeah, so, the worst place to go... The, the hands-down, bar-none worst place to go in a zombie apocalypse is to a hospital. Um, Von Newton, thank you for that donation, by the way. He just says he'll meet me at Lexington. So, if you're, I mean, or not, not just a zombie apocalypse, but just like any kind of plague-type scenario. That's like the worst place to go. Oh, excuse me. Um, the next worst place is the church. So, you know, essentially what happens is, once there's a panic, seeking aid is like the worst thing you can do. You know what I mean? Either you've got it or you don't got it. And the, fur the further away you get from people, the better chance you have of not getting it. Going to the hospital where everybody is going and they all have it is not going to help. You're going to be fucking screwed. So don't do that. Um, zombie apocalypse or otherwise. Yeah, I guess that's true. Nebraska would be okay just because it's so open. I mean, you know, even my solution for the the zombie survival scenario where I go hole up in a place where it's obvious, obviously well stocked, is a shit idea. The thing to do would be to go to a place that has, like, nothing. You know what I mean? Think about... Think about, like, if you get in your car right now and you go some direction for 50 miles and you end up super far away from every major city. You know, like, like instead of trying to go to, like, a major city in Utah, Salt Lake, Provo, Warham, St. George, you know, those kind of places, I go to, like, Delta or Pintura or something like that. That might even be better than, than any other scenario. Hey, T. Romix, how you doing? Did you finish your, uh, your stiff? Oh, and a pink robot's here, too. Aw, hi, guys. A pink robot, you gotta show the chat your fucking art. That picture is so cool. T. Ronix, how how is your uh, challenge run going? Did you start your no hit run yet, or are you still doing the, f the fists only no armor run? Fuck! I hate these cars. I'm always worried I'm gonna kill myself with them. Lock's really strong. Oh yeah, I don't have the ability to get in here because I have to have advanced lock picking to get in from either direction. I guess we could do the silver shroud costume. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that car exploded, but all I did was step over it. Fair enough. How would one do that? Post it to Imgur, man. Post the picture of the picture to Imgur. The one you put up on Facebook. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of different places that you can hold up. But the thing to do is to come up with a solution that nobody has yet come up with. 
You know what I mean? The, the further away you are from people, the better off you're going to be. Still doing the Naked Fists Only Run. Is it the most stressful thing in the entire world? Because it sounds like the most stressful thing in the entire world. Well, except for the run that you intended to do right after that run. That sounds like the most stressful thing in the entire world. What's up, Mr. Randolph? Well, I can't kill this monkey, so I guess there's no point in even trying. I'll just get this thing and gather up some dudes here. Jedi Van. What's up? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh, this is the wrong place. It's alright, you can all... You can all hang out with me. All I need to do is get this costume. Oof. Just my bad. Let's see here. Stairs up or this way. Fair enough, we don't need to do everything here. Yeah, I suppose the absolute best case scenario for a, any kind of nuclear apocalypse, zombie survival, whatever, would be to take over an oil, a, a, a like, shadow government oil rig that's not even on people's maps. You just gotta do defend the castle in the last mission. So you're, so you're done. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, fish in the barrel, fish in the barrel. Give me that experience. This is like an experience farm. All I need to do is let the, let the glowing one resurrect dudes over and over again. Oh, I probably should heal and not die. I was hoping we leveled up from that somehow. Huh? Yeah, you kind of got it. Oh, drunken player, thank you for that follow, by the way. But I think if you're going to do a no hit run, obviously you got to focus on sneak. But you also got to know basically where everything is. Because there's like random encounter locations that you have to basically have memorized. And there's plenty of... No, oh, I don't have anything cooked, do I? There's plenty of random shit 
like, strewn around. But there's also, I mean, take this area, for instance. If I was going to do a no-hit run, number one, I would never operate during the day. Ever. For any reason. I would sleep until I was... Until I was... You know... All the way recovered, and it was nighttime every single time I left. Can you Number two, um, I would basically only do quests that I knew didn't have. Uh, they either had had almost nobody with a gun, or they had nobody with a gun. Because otherwise, ah, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm coming at this from the wrong angle, aren't I? God damn it, good neighbor, you're the worst. Oh, it's Crowbar. Hey, what up, Crowbar? How you doing? And then, yeah, of course, if I had any situation where I had to get through, you know, a gun run area, I would probably go through and try to do it with a stealth boy. I mean, not getting hit, also, you know, the best thing to do would be to have something like this, where everybody who's an enemy is lit up with red. Um, and then eliminate everything in front of you all of the time at a very long range. God damn it, good neighbor, you're the worst. Oh, check this art out that pink robot did. It's so cool. It's so cool! That's for the art night at Burning Man. Did you ever figure out your ticket, Crowbar? We were kind of kind of thinking about that the other day. I don't think Dash and Rango got a ticket either. I don't know if they're going to I don't even know if they're going to bother to try coming to to Burning Man this year. Which is a bummer, but you know, at the same time it won't be uh stoner overly drunk alley all the time. Wouldn't be too hard with a ton of mines. Yeah, I mean, you can do a. I, I suppose you could do shit like that. Where it's mostly mine. mine based. Let me guess, I can't do this because I'm in a fight? Interesting. Let's see, I don't have the steel or the copper for this. Use a ton of mines during the no-heal run. Someone called you out for using mines. I've got a weapon here What's that all about, situation? man? Let's see what you got. Let's get you out. People shouldn't call you out for anything. It's it's amazing to me that you'll set up a, a challenge for yourself and you know, you might not even have any idea how you're gonna do it. You might be like, this situation is well and truly fucked. I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. And, uh, you know, you figure out a way to make it work and somebody, like, comes at you about the stupidest shit, like, oh, you're using, you're not using That's weapons and you're not using fists and you're not using mines or grenades and you're not using to browse. companions okay, okay. and you're not using traps. But you use power armor? You're a fucking puss. You shouldn't even use power armor. You should just run past everything as, as well as you can. Yeah, people are crazy, man. They got a lot of shit to talk, that's for sure. Let's see, I need actually steel and copper, it, looked, it sounded like. needing a new job is all. Didn't you uh, say that you were thinking that it probably wasn't going to work out because you didn't want to take a day off like right as you started a new job or you know, not a day but like a week. So this, this chick seriously has like nothing that has steel in it. That is crazy to me. Let's see.
the desk fans have some steel. That thing has steel. Yeah, that's it. That's all she's got that has steel in it. That's crazy. Hmm. Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk. Let's see here. Be bothered right now. See if I can even repair the one that leg that's side? about to go out. Yep, no you were the one taking pot shots at that super mutant. That was some great aim. Now I just remembered what my mother taught me. Shoot from the chest and the right. David Pearson. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, thanks for the host, t -Rollers. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't host you very often. And I stop streaming until 1 in the morning because I go to work really early. And so... I usually finish the stream before you start. Unfortunately. I heard you walk that freedom trail. What? Some kind of... What are they called? It's three... I might just start school again. Yeah, I'm start. I'm starting school back to school in in August. So I'm gonna go to uh, to school for a week, and then I'm gonna be gone for a week, and then I'm gonna have to come back and play catch up like I did last year, which was pretty fucking awful. Kent, there she is, pretty as the post. There you go. After all the yeah, yeah, just yeah. Off. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got you uh -huh. up to be. Uh huh. Looks like I get to be the shroud. The car. Uh huh. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, time. I have to do this silver shroud shit. At least while I'm in here. I also need to turn in this thing. Actually, it may be that I that I fucked up and turned that junk in. And that I don't have a hallucinogen canister. <laughs> oh well. I stuck it in some shop somewhere. Who fucking knows where I stuck it. Well, oh, thanks David Pearson. Yeah, this is this is probably the playthrough that's going to go up on stream or on YouTube next because I've done a few challenges since Bernie Sanders but they have all been abysmal failures basically. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad you're glad you're hanging out. I have not moved yet a pink robot now. In case you're wondering, I'm still I'm still uh Kind of up in the air until Friday. Step away from my meat, boy. Unless you want to be next. Lights out, pal. What? You mess with me? What the fuck? I totally hit you, you stupid asshole. What are you gonna do? Shoot me with that gun? God damn, this guy's a lot of life. You know what's something that I hadn't considered? I mean, it would probably be using weapons, but I probably could pick pocket grenades on the people, and I wouldn't have to use my mouse. I dropped it to make room for tin cans. No, it was that was the cracked one. That wasn't the same one. So it must have been right after that. I must have stashed in a red rock. Who's gonna win this fight? I don't know. I don't know, Wayne. It might be me and it might be you. How 
Oh, damn, this dude does have a lot of life. Right now, the challenge is that I don't use weapons or fists or traps or mines or grenades or companions. So the only way that I can do damage is by not doing damage, basically. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this fight. I mean, I know he's going to win this fight because I'm going to use a stim pack, but... I think he's stim packed too, that bastard. I wonder if I let him outside if the other dudes would attack him. They apparently have zero interest in taking that out. Son of a bitch. I do a slow, slow amount of damage, but it apparently doesn't do shit to this guy. Yeah, this is what the Kellogg fight is going to be like, unless I use, like, the fusion core ejection or something like that. That's what I was gonna do, but he didn't follow me out. I don't know what his deal is. This is one of the easiest guys that you have to kill for this mission, so maybe I ought to wait till I get Ricochet or something. You bastard. In your face. In your face, motherfucker. I'm not very good at it. First person mode. Give me all your shit. And all your victim shit, too, while we're at it. Oh, yeah, I have to leave a calling card. I forgot. <laughs> 